Hello and welcome to my Canva review where I'm going to be covering some of my favorite Canva pros and cons and talking a little bit more about this tool overall. I figured I would change up this review a little and pretty much just start and conclude with this whole review being about Canva pros and cons. Let's start with the pros because there's a ton of them. I won't be able to cover all of them because it's a very intense tool in terms of a lot of features. There's not too much I didn't like about it, which is always a good thing. The first and foremost pro is going to be the fact that Canva comes with free access. Now, I do want to explain this quickly just in case there's any confusion. First and foremost, Canva comes with a free plan, meaning you can use them for free for as long as you want. I will leave my link down below, and if you click that, you can find out for yourself. Utilize a ton of Canva that has to offer. Now, from there, there's also going to be a free trial, which allows you to try out the Canva Pro, which is what I personally have right now. This allows you to kind of upgrade, utilize some of their big features and perks. And then, of course, if you enjoy it, you can go from there. It's very inexpensive, especially for what you get. So that's going to be the free access aspect of it. I like letting you know that simply because a lot of times when I do software reviews, it's good the fact, especially if it has a free plan or a free trial, you can always test it out yourself. You don't have to just take my word for it. Now to on more of the pros when it comes to Canva, I want to say that Canva's templates are fantastic. They have so many of them. In fact, I think it's over 250,000 off the top of my head. As you can see right here, I searched for YouTube thumbnails and just kind of going down, you're going to see a very big variety of them depending on what you're going to be doing. What I like about this so much is that I've done plenty of tutorial videos about this, but it's just so much easier when you can find a template that's related to the type of, say, thumbnail that you want to create. And once you find that, all you really have to do is maybe add in your picture, change around the text, and maybe some of the colors as well. Let me give you an example with this one right here with the five day trip in Indonesia. I'm going to load this up very quickly. So let's say you were doing a YouTube thumbnail about spending time in a certain spot. Like it doesn't have to be Indonesia, right? Given the fact that I have a few uploads in here, I think one's from Australia when I went to the Great Barrier Reef. But so let's say I want to drop this in here. I can put that right there. I'm just going to use this as an example. It doesn't have to be from Australia. You can see a New Zealand one right here, but <laughs> one place at a time, right? We can change this around. There we go. And of course, I can move this so it's centered by clicking on it, edit photo, cropping it, and just moving it so this little turtle is centered and looks cool. <laughs> okay. Same thing with this, although it already looks pretty good how it is. And just like that, we can create a thumbnail from scratch that's not going to take you very long at all. That's the power of templates. And that's also something I want to talk about when it comes to the simplicity of use for Canva. I love the fact that we talked about before that there's so many templates, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier because all you need to do is search for what you're looking to create and then utilize what they have with the template and run from there. I'll give you one more example. All right, so here we have Instagram posts. Really depends on what you're looking for, but there's going to be a lot of different types of them. For example, they have a lot of the quotes ones, which are great. This one's a pro template, but even something simple like this, you can change around the background color, the picture, the text, and then add your Instagram um, username there as well. Going down, pretty much going to be the similar thing, but I like this one right here. Let's utilize this one, change it around, and see what we get. All right, so for example, let's go to some of our uploads. Let's find a picture of me that's closer up. We can drag it right in there. Let's say we want to change this around. We are at Marketing Island. Okay, let's just say we are doing the same thing here. All right, be the best you can. All right. I always talk about, I always rave about just how inspirational of a person I am. That was the best inspirational quote I could come up with off the top of my head. And let's just say we wanted to throw this in the background. It's really going to be up to you. That probably doesn't look that great like that. So what I can do is drop it in, do this. I can extend it like that and maybe moving it a little bit bigger. Let's say like that. And what we can do is position it in the back. So let's move backwards, backwards, backwards. And let's see. Probably could have picked a better picture, right? Because that island's going to definitely uh, take up some space. So let's actually do that. Uploads, let's say New Zealand. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. Once again, I would probably change it around a little. Let's do edit photo. Let's crop it. Maybe something like that. Let's see how it looks. Not too bad. And if I want to say change it where I can have more of the land over there, I went there as well. New Zealand, such a beautiful place. If you live in New Zealand, 
hats off to you. I'd love to go back. But anyway, here I am in Florida talking about New Zealand. So like I talked about, that's kind of wrapping up this simplicity aspect of this. I know I made it look like it's too simple, but that's really how I use Canva for myself personally. I recommend you do the same thing. Leveraging the 250,000 templates that they have, find something that you really like and then make the minimal amount of changes so that you can get quickly up and running because I love taking fast action and I recommend that for you as well. Last but not least, I want to talk about how Canva can be used just for so many things. Let's go back to the uh, home feed here, and I'm just going to quickly highlight over some of these. The fact that you can use it not only for business and marketing, education, or just strictly design is a really big feature in Perk because I know a lot of different people can utilize those. In fact, design, business, and education, they're going to overlap many times, especially for the fact that, say, if you wanted to create a social media post, you could certainly do that for business and marketing, maybe a coupon, maybe a discount, could be for educational purposes or maybe just showcasing a new design that you created. If we look through right here, you can see there's a lot of other things that you can utilize, such as docs, presentations, whiteboards. You get a PDF editor, graphs and charts. You can utilize a video editor, especially for YouTube. There's photo editor, photo collages, business cards, cards, invitations, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, calendars, labels, logos, posters, flyers, brochures. I think you get the idea hovering over business just to kind of show you there's so many features and perks for this and that makes it a very big pro. It's not just like, you know, I can use this to create a YouTube thumbnail. You can do so much more than that. And that's always a great thing because while you're in Canva, if you want to create your YouTube thumbnail, you could also create your YouTube banner. Or maybe you can create your Facebook post that's going to promote the video that you just created. Or maybe you want to create that pin on Pinterest that's going to showcase the video you just created and so on and so forth. And it goes from there. So those are some of the biggest pros when it comes to Canva. I'd say there's going to be one con or dislike. I don't even know if I want to call it that. And it's it kind of counterintuitive to what I talked about before. But there is going to be a slight Canva learning curve. Now, I know I said how Canva can be very simple to use, especially when you utilize the way I showed you. However, there are so many features, perks in this that it might take you a little bit longer to get up and running. But don't sweat with that. There are always tutorials that are there to help you step by step. I have plenty of them myself, and Canva is pretty good at helping you get up and running with plenty of tips and tutorials if you need them as well. So that's like my minor gripe with it, and it's not even a big one. I just literally couldn't think of anything else to put for that. So that was the one thing I came up with. But all in all, Canva is a solid tool. There are multiple features, plenty of tools, overall simple to use. But having so many features, there will be a slight learning curve if you're really looking to dive deep into a lot of these different features that they offer. So all in all, Canva is definitely worth a try, especially for the fact that they come with a free plan. Like I said, I will leave that link down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I know I didn't get to talk a ton about this because it is a very in-depth tool, a lot of features, a lot of perks, but just from using it myself, those are the biggest pros and cons that I have come up with. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.